As we begin to make plans for the warm weather months ahead, hopefully not months ahead, we're learning another summer favorite won't be happening this year. Kaya Edwards is looking into what's going on with Minnesota's music festivals. Kaya? Randy, the organizers of the Basilica Block Party confirmed to us today that they're once again postponing the event. This is the second year in a row. Back in fall, we also learned two other big festivals won't be back either. Randy, I'm lost my way. The Walker and The Current said it was simply time to end Rock the Garden and focus on new initiatives, even though the festival was often sold out. Twin City Summer Jam! Meanwhile, organizers said Twin City Summer Jam wouldn't return in 23 and beyond because land was sold and an amphitheater would be built on festival grounds. Now, as we inch closer to summer, the Basilica of St. Mary says its block party will not be held. But we're told the event will be reconsidered in the future. And while the Basilica isn't commenting further on the reason for this year's hiatus, the Star Tribune's Chris Riemann Schneider points out there's more competition these days. We've had two new amphitheaters built. He's been covering the music scene since 2001. First Avenue is putting concerts on it. It's outside Surly Brewing. So there's more stuff going on that isn't festivals, but it, but is outdoor concerts. You know, our, also the the outdoor stadiums, there's Pink's playing Target Field this summer and, and Beyonce at, at uh, uh, Huntington. And Chris points to inflation. It's harder than ever to crunch the numbers for these festivals. The, the, you know, just everything, everything in the concert industry. I mean, everything, period, is more expensive right now. And you'll recall the purpose of the Basilica Block Party was to raise money for the preservation of that historic church. Randy? All right. Thank you, Kaya. Target.